There's the best view of that little fucker right there. Esto es el corresponsal. Hi, Yona. Grand Theft World. Liberty Radio. Buenos dias otra vez, compañero y compañera. El día de hoy es lunes, el 11 de junio. Y otra vez en el estado de Virginia Occidental, West Virginia. Once again, the correspondent with another agent story for you good folks here. We have just crossed the Mud River and we are now along the CSX mainline, the former Chesapeake and Ohio Railway mainline that connects Washington, D.C. to Chicago using the um, uh, Cardinal Amtrak train there. So let's pull off the side here and... Uh, do a little bit of history here as we prepare to go visit my good friend at the mouth of the Canal River. As we've reviewed previously, it's not Kanawha, it's Canal. And uh, let's see here, somewhere around here is a covered bridge. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, looky here, we've got a sign. Signs, signs everywhere, there's signs. You know, I... I I'm still got my head in kind of a political place because I like wrestling and playing with action figures. They're not dolls. They're action figures like my almost life-size Cornell West. So awesome. And my Marianne Williamson does the best, best benedictions. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh, Mud River Covered Bridge. Erected in 1875 by order of the Cabell County Court. The contract was awarded to R.H. Baker the local postmaster. This design was developed by bridge engineer William Howe in 1840, and the length is 112 feet. West Virginia Archives and History, 2008. It says the same thing there. But, whoa, what's this? That looks like some Grand Theft World type stuff. That looks like Latin right there. Look, look at that. Montani Semper Liberi means the mountaineers are always three so uh, to, to, to find out more fuck around and uh, meanwhile uh, look at this here folks railway track maintenance by the CSX there it is don't get to see those contraptions very often that's one of the um, transgender railroad um, vehicles the transgenders more than meets the thigh. Yeah, man. Looks like a regular railroad car. Next thing you know, should have seen the signs. Should have seen the signs. You want some more of this covered bridge action? We, we've even got geeks. There, there is wildlife out here. I suppose I could go along, tell you a little bit more about this history here. It's ironic that the local postmaster in Milton came up with the design for this covered bridge because, uh, huh, funny story, Milton itself, named after the postmaster. People used to say, just send my mail to Milton and I'll pick it up from him. And so they ended up calling the place Milton. And uh, that's the rest of the story, Paul Harvey. All right, on to page two. Segunda, segunda página. Page two. So here we are at the famed site itself. Yeah. The makings of a resort. It's called um, public investment, private rewards. Um, anyways, we'll, we'll get more into that. I'm actually going to write an article about it. There's been a little bit of journalism done about this project here, but. I'll get into it later. This is an old hospital. It's being converted into a resort and a tourist destination. 
Um, and that's a cherry tree. Gitaya. All right. And then... There was one other thing I was going to mention. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. A little thing about the West Virginia State Police and the worst state police scandal in American history of any state. That's ongoing, too. We'll put that in print form. Anywho. Um, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to see this place actually get finished. If we can just get them a few more millions of dollars in public funding from the state hopefully fingers crossed they are nice balconies let me get some of that balcony action there give me more of that balcony mmm mmm yum 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 mmm yum yum So here we are at Tuendio Park, and you can see coming up on the obelisk. We just gotta get dead signed flood wall here. Twenty Ways State Park. See, blam. Let's get that right there. Yeah, blam. Two windy eight state park. Right. There's stuff on the signs here too. Let's see. Oh, it. Yeah. And so it begins. I don't reckon I can get over by that cabin where I need to go, but. I'm going to record some music here, too, but anyhow. Uh, let's see here. Oh, i got to get my hat. Ah. Uh, and cigarettes. Because, you know, it's how we roll. Gonzo Journals. Agent Story. To Wendy Way State Park. Yeah, that's not English, anyhow. Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, first one, whoa, what, 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 what's that? Blam. Oh, yeah. Man. I just need to put a big old eggplant emoji on that during editing. Note to staff. Okay, let's see here. We got the War of 1812 on October 20th, 1812. Western Virginia Brigade and Militia under command of General Joe Leftwich embarked here for the Ohio Frontier to join the Northwestern Army for service in the Second War with England. Northwest Campaign. That's when they took on Bondiac. Or Bondiac. Or Pontiac. Settlers would call him. Olivia Poffenbarger. Yeah, good enough and for gates in and all right, so back to the history lesson. So let's see here. I guess it began back in seventeen seventy four when the settlers were supposed to rendezvous here with William Preston. And they met Kachema Pukensaw. Mingo Shawnee Warrior, his son, Hoka Lesquan, Cornstalk. Ah, right, well, that's for the later part of the story. We're going to keep this chronological here, so let's keep, keep up with me here. 1774, they're meeting with William Preston, surveyor of Fincastle County, Virginia, to claim all this land after trespassing on it. So, and that's how they done it. And that took care of the Monoton and Mingo. All right, well, first we're going to look here at the corner of the old Cherokee Nation, Mount the Canal, at Ohio, as we say, Mike Wonee, Hog Hagee, Mike Wonee Canal. No, it's called Ega Canal. Hey, ya, Hog Hagee, Mike Wonee, way ya. Eh bien, en français, les coureurs de bois. Ils ont appelé cette rivière à la baie, la rivière, en espagne. Anyways, pardon my French. Let's go down over here. All right, folks. Let's get that close up in there. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. 
bam, and zoom back in. Robert C. Bird locks and damn. Yeah, one of about a million things named after Senator Byrd in the state of West Virginia. A renowned fiddler and poet and uh, Klansman. West Virginia legend uh, and full-time racist, Robert C. Byrd. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, hello, Route 2. <laughs> I would be remiss not to mention our good friends over there at Blanco Glass. Blow me. Um, blow me a bottle while you're at it. A pretty one with the green glass. Yeah. Uh, I'll put me a bottle of ski in that thing and we'll find us a slot burger somewhere. But we're quite a ways from Greensburg today. <laughs> Sorry about that, headhunters. Well, how are we going to get around here? I guess I'm going to have to do the old side straddle hop and get down this thing here that's a jumping jack for you civilians <laughs> for us veterans out there we are all too familiar with the side straddle hop it's helpful for avoiding all of the multiple dog turds out in this area jeez man there's a lot of dog shit through here the things el corresponsal goes through Mierditas, pejitas, everything, man. All right. Okay, here it is. Unlike the one we saw in Kentucky the other day, this one's not doing so well. Yeah, and after all, they just slapped it in place here. But there you go. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got the arch spandrels and all that stuff. Right, now let's see what's going on behind Suga Atishangi. Nah, Suga Atishangi. Uh, let's see. Let's switch back to English. Uh, I do love the Jalagagawana Histi. Very close to my blood. So we've got the birch tree right here. And the sweet gum. And then down there. Oh, am I going to have to use this zoom thing again? It's all right. I'm slowly but surely drizzles. You want to be figuring out this technology here. I'm not the most edumacated hilljack around these parts, but look at that there. Goose action. And speaking of geese. Speaking of geese. Oh, you like that? <laughs> See, I told you I'm learning more buttons. Speaking of geese, let's, let's look at the pretty flowers, Bob Ross, while I... I visit politics one more time. So we're over here at the bridge in Milton next to Blanco Glass. And um, in the far eastern reaches of Cabell County, spelled C-A-B-E-L-L, -L, pronounced Cabell. Like rabble rouser. Anyways, uh, just down the road to the east of here, I will be going past it. We'll do another spot when I get there. Is an amazing. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. The, the poop here is just something else. But oh, look who had a perfect, perfect feather waiting for me. All right, we're gonna brave the field of dog shit so i guess we're going to call this clip here there is um dog shit dog shit park it turns out there's more than one walk carefully it's it could be worse we could be in san francisco around nancy pelosi and gavin newsom and all those fruity characters isn't that where camel toe harris is from uh, you know we could be out there and having to step around piles of human shit everywhere so Scan for shithole. Or San Francisco, however you pronounce it. I think I got it right the first time. West Virginia Pumpkin Patch. Home of the West Virginia Pumpkin Festival. That's right, Charlie Brown.
Great Pumpkin's real. And this is where he lands. That's why my vote next year is for Great Pumpkin 2024. Running mate, baby doll. That's right. Baby doll's gonna gonna break up with Governor Jim Justice and go into politics for herself. Basset hound and a large pumpkin. Running for the uh, ticket uh, on the squash party. Because they're ready to squash all this dumb shit. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And get into the uh, politics of development and state funding and grants and everything. Tax dollars at waste. It's the next spot. On down to the next spot. Breaking news, major fire spotted by the interstate here. Oh, looky there, yes, yes. Ooh, 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 do better on the camera angle there, homie. Yes, it's car on fire. Car on fire, boy, there's smoke everywhere. Wow, yeah, that, that was something. Ah, just another day in the life of Interstate 64. That's right. If I just stayed on this thing and went all the way, I'd end up in almost to Virginia Beach. No fucking shit. No fucking shit. I mean, Norfolk. Yeah. Or if I went the other way, I'd end up in St. Louis. Yeah. You know, I've seen the arch before. I'm good. I'm good on that. Uh, we're headed to Charleston. Buenas noches, todos mis compas. El día de hoy somos en la ciudad de Point Pleasant, cerca de la casa de Mothman, al boca del río Cano, en el río Ohio. Otra vez, estoy el corresponsal con Radio Libertad. Once again, it's Hi Yona here in West Bagod, Virginia. This time, coming at you from Mason County. Home of the Mothman, Point Pleasant. We're going to see the Panther Stone. That's what's going on. Uh, but first, we gotta wait to make this left turn and get down on that flood wall. Come on now. Alright, there it is. Let's see here. So, oh, oh, where to begin? Oh, the history. Oh, we're about to get, we're about to get butthole deep in some history, folks. Because you're rolling with the high Yona, and you know how, we, you know, we stay fact up. I mean, forensically, historically, scientifically. Again, paper, pencil, take notes, time to educate. As Paul Harvey would say on WHAS 840 AM, you know, page two, Kichema Hokalesqua, or in English, Chief Cornstalk. Here they would call this, as most places were called, a chalagota, which means to meet in place, a chalagota. Or in, in uh, American or English or whatever they fucking say, it'd be chilla coffee. So anyhow, so here, let's get close up to it. There's your sign, Bill Engball. Point Pleasant Battle here, October 10th, 1774. General Andrew Lewis and thousand Virginia riflemen defeated the Federated Indian tribes led by <clears throat> Corn stock, known as First Battle of Revolution, is the most important battle between Indians and Wyatts. Uh, there you go, folks. Now on to page three.
y finalmente a la tercera página otra vez una ciudad de Point Pleasant once again here page three Point Pleasant we're gonna keep it multilingual we're talking Shawnee and Cherokee and English and Spanish and what the hell ever else I feel like speaking all right here we are at uh, more of this wall art that's uh Kachemahokalesqua once again cheap corn stock in English Así que my son, and uh, that's what the Spanish called them. Anyways, there's your uh, colonial there with his uh, tri-cornered hat and his uh, hex barrel long life and all that. All right, we go down here. Right behind me here is our good friend just waiting to hang out. We'll go see him here in a second. But first, folks, we got some artsy looking stuff here for the for the folks to check out here, so we'll take this panoramic there, so I can figure this out. All right. There's your seed, what the French would call a la belle rivière. Allez, we're a little bon temps, Yeah, let the good times roll, the beautiful river. And here we have Les Chawana, what the French call Chawana, the cat people, keepers of the panther stone, see. And then you go to the other side, you get Pyonkasha. They're snake people. They got a big old snake mound up there. My peoples. Where John Hunt Morgan raids ended up there in Civil Wars. This is depicting the invasion and massacre of Point Pleasant. Or battle, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Whatever makes you feel all right with extinct in entire languages and people just forget all about it it's all it's fine it's fine don't worry about it fuck them thanks for the land engines too bad we killed every last one of you it's what headhunters were kentucky headhunters you get paid per scalp from each indian scalp and they, then you collect the red skin bounty and that's how you make money at courthouse steps there and you get paid per woman get paid for man, get paid for child, different prices, but scalps, scalping was begun by the general at Detroit, wig buyer, General Hamilton, uh, Stegon de Lund. yeah, money for the hair, because it was a barbarian practice brought over from the barbars there, that's the barbar, Barbary coast, you know, North Africa is where it came from, there it's, uh, Chamahokalesqua once again. Is really? Chief Cornstalk in English. General Andrew Lewis with his uh, tri fold hat there. Who's this over here? Got your dugout canoes. See, that's how them monotons done it too. They, they burn it out and then chip it out. Burn it out and chip it out. Takes forever. It ain't like awning of the wiggy or uh, Iroquois, Iroquois, we'd say in English. Moon people, they make errors with the birch bark. Birch bark, and the, the, the dugouts around here, anyhow, I see. There's different, you know, you can tell the, the, which nation you're dealing with by, by what kind of watercraft they make, what, what kind of clothes they wear. You know, it's kindly obvious. Anyhow, I see here. Oh, hell for Lord Dunsmore's War. Yes, sir, there he is. Now, it, it's hard to say how many he killed just with these looks and wearing a kilt the whole time. There you go. All right, let's see. Rats taken through wilderness by the Virginians to meet, to meet the Native Confederation. You mean fucking kill them all. Whatever makes you feel all right. <laughs> Shit, <for him. laughs> oh, they met all right. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, enough with all the damn history lessons. Let's go play fantasy with the 15 foot wingspan and the beady red eyes and all that fun stuff.
All right, kids, we'll go see your little statue here. I promised this for so long. I just ain't had time to get around to it yet, but I reckon it's happening now, honey, so let's uh, hold on tight. Just a block around the corner and through that side of that flood wall there. I'd take you where the Silver Bridge was, but I mean, there ain't nothing to look at, really. So. I guess, being an engineer and server, I have an obligation to explain what happened. So, a quick rundown, they built this suspension bridge. They used I-bar chain links, that long pieces of steel that was all held together with single pins. So, you know, that's what you call a single point failure. You know, kind of a... Anyways, uh, you, you can be tawed and re and re and re Then you just don't... You don't design bridges for single point failures. And that bridge had about 200 of them in it. And so it was just a matter of time until one of them pins popped out. I guess Mothman did it. And zoom, and look at the clock. Ain't that it. There's the current bridge taking um, whatever that is, U.S. Route 35. You say Route 35, that roots belong to trees. It's Route 35. Say it right. All right, and there's your railroad bridge. And uh, you know, I used to be this funny little bridge through there, Silver Bridge. You know, I'd tell you to go down to Blockbuster and rent the video with the Richard Gear and all that, but uh, Blockbuster been closed for a while. Now we go to the Da Chi da Chi Panther Stone. Let me show you where this is over here. <coughs> Here's the old cabin. So anyways, let's see, 1774. They fight uh, Mingo and Shawnee, Krogan Party, Simon Kenton, Michael Tiger. Holdery, James Holdery, Samuel Pogue. That's when they all started coming flying down through here. They they come right here to Math Canal and meet William Preston, perfect their land warrants, get their land grants. Most of them for service. Fighting at Fort Duquesne, Fort Pitt, Pittsburgh today. 1763 French and Indian War. That's what it was. So here we are. Pants stone. See? See, you got the panther with the curved tail. You, do you see it on there? Listen there. Uh, I want to show it right like that there. All right, there's that. See, it's kind of like outline there and white. And in there, you can see where it's marked in there. See? The panther, the cat, right? The cat. That's the, the, the cat, the panther. You see, in French, cat is chat. Chawane. Le chawane. Chawane. The cat people. Chawane. Shawnee, man. There you go. Figure it out. Some come trespassing speaking Spanish. Some come trespassing speaking French. Some come trespassing speaking English. Don't none of them speak our languages no more. Only uh, when they say uh huh and uh huh and uh uh. They don't even know uh huh and uh uh. It's Cherokee. <laughs> it ain't any English. English is yes and no. But whatever. Got our names all over the damn place, though. Sure do that. And it's Canal, not Conaway or however in the hell you've been saying it wrong. Anyhow, let's get on over here. <sighs> To part two, go look at this pretty statue for the tourists. Say hello to Mothy. I like, like a proper pedestrian and use the sidewalk facilities. Let's see. At long last, 
And uh, I hate to put my buddy on blast and, you know, protect the innocent and the guilty. <laughs> I'm going to keep all names anonymous. So we just say, my friend from, that's enough. What you say? Well, you know, you know what? Friend is a bit. Um, that's a bit strong. It would be more like mild. This dude. I'm just gonna say this dude. I know. Known him for 15 years. I asked him about uh, Mothman one time. Lord, he got sweating. Got nose, nose me telling me about times he's touched. They. I, I, let me get this right here. I, I don't know if Mothman touched him or if he touched, they touched each other. I, I, I don't know what was involved, but he said he got some of these special powers, but only for about 48 hours. And, uh, you know, I, I could go on and on about the stories he'd tell about Mothman. But seriously, that's, bless his heart. Bless his heart. Let's get a close up here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, this is why y'all tuned in this stuff. Yeah. But, you know, that's right. Hi, Yona puts out. I, I deliver the goods, folks. It's wild. It's wonderful. It's the best I got in Virginia. There it is. And here we are at last. Um, can we get a, a close-up of the face there? With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. More beady red eye, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay, you know, there's a text down here, so let's let's get this in here. For, yeah. We're going to do this up all right and proper like here. Let's see here. All right. Hmm. New Haven, West Virginia. You know, I grew up in New Haven, Kentucky. I'm going to have to use my original language <clears throat> all right and um i'll put subtitles in english for yens that don't understand so here's legend of moth man and chili fall night in november 1966 two young couples drove in tnt area north point pleasant west virginia when they realized they were not alone what they saw that night's evolved one of the great mysteries of all time hence the moth man legacy began it's grown in phenomenon known all over the world by millions of curious people's asking questions. What really happened? What them people see? Has it been seen since? It still sparks world's curiosity. The mystery behind Point Pleasant, West Virginia's Mothman. Sculpture by artist and sculptor Bobby Roach. We'll just call him Bub. New Haven, West Virginia. And there you go, folks. Cut it. Postscript. So as we're now, now we're off of the resort property. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm remiss to not think of the fact that, you know, if these guys were really serious about getting this stuff built, I should have been able to speak Spanish just then with other Spanish speakers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead, I just saw one bulldozer push a little bit of dirt around, two or three cars. Um, yeah, every time I go by there, it's like almost nothing is happening, and yet millions of dollars are being poured into that thing. And um, where is the money going? I mean, if they could hurry up and get that resort finished, we could host more parties for the Ukrainians that are moving to West Virginia. Nice tattoos, dudes. Is that, is that a swap? Never mind. Never mind. Slava Ukraine, I know what I mean. All right. No, I'm sorry. I don't know where to find any blowskis. All right, on to the next skit.